Hey guys, it's Dave Dean. I'm just doing a quick video on uh, what would be the number one thing in car audio that you would buy if you could only buy one thing right at the start. And you see what I'm staring at right now? That's what you'd buy. That's what you call a DAP, digital to analog player. And, and you're saying, Dave, why would I buy a DAP? Wouldn't I, wouldn't I buy like an, like an amp or, um, you know, like subs or a DSP. I mean, DSP, wouldn't, wouldn't that be the best thing to buy? Uh, no. The best thing to buy would be this right here. And I'm going to tell you why. So the reason why you would want to buy Adapt, this is, this is mine here. It's a Fio M11. Came out in 2019. There's a brand new one that just came out in June. It's called the M11 Plus. Don't get that confused with the M11 Pro that came out three months after mine back in 2019, right? Uh, the, the, this one retailed for $5.99 Canadian. I don't know what that is in the US, but $5.99 Canadian when it came out. You could probably pick it up a little bit cheaper now, or you could pick up a used one from like eBay or wherever, uh, some, something else online, Amazon maybe, or, or somewhere. You could probably pick it up a little bit cheaper, but... Uh, the reason why you would buy this over anything else, and most people aren't even going to think of this. A lot of people don't even know what a DAP is, honestly. Um, the people, most of the people that are uh, uh, that follow me know what a DAP is, um, but the majority of the people out there, you know, don't. You know, like a family man, or um, you know, I mean, women love music too, but it's ma it's mainly guys that are buying stuff for their vehicles, right? The aftermarket uh, car audio stuff. They're not even going to think about this. They're just going to think about like at probably adding speakers first, right? Uh, uh, maybe a sub. A lot of people buy sub, but then you got to buy an amp, like a monoblock or something to run the sub. A lot of time, that's the first thing that people buy, honestly, is, is, a, is a sub and an amp to go with the sub. But then after that, they're thinking about speakers, right? Can I, can I get speakers and still keep my, you know, um, my system in my car, rub it, run it off the same amps? Yeah, you can. You got to make sure your speakers match up in the ohm level that your uh, uh, amp is producing, right? Um, and make make your car sound a little bit better. But this is going to do that. This is going to make everything sound better right off the bat. And guess what? You don't have to pay anybody for installation. That's the key. That's the key thing right there. You're not having to pay anybody to install it because <laughs> all you have to do is buy this, right? This comes with uh, I believe it's 64 gigabyte internal memory. Um, not enough for me might be enough for like some people if you just want to put up you know a few your your main playlists or stuff on there you know to hold like a few hundred songs or whatever it'd be like a couple of, maybe you know a thousand songs uh something like that i have no idea um because i don't use my internal memory on here i use uh, uh an SD sd card right the micro sd card so the reason this is going to sound better is because it has a better DAC in it than any vehicle has. It has a better DAC in it than pretty much almost every DSP that's out there, except for the higher end DSPs. Um, but yeah, signal noise ratio on this, I believe is, uh, it's either it's either 116 or 118, can't remember. You just go look it up on the specs. Uh, I know it's 116 or higher um, for this particular model, um, which is excellent, right? Um, this pretty much, I think, tied with Pioneer's uh, PRS-99, um, which back in his day was the highest signal-to-noise ratio deck out there, right? Um, so this has the equivalent signal-to-noise ratio on it, right? Um, it also, all you have to do is buy a 3.5 cable, and you're gonna plug it into uh, your, see the auxiliary right there? You would plug that in. So the only thing that you, the, the only negative side to this would be that when you're charging your DAP, right? And you're playing it at the same time, then you can run into some noise issues. But most people aren't gonna listen to their music, you know, if you're going to work and coming home from work and stuff like that. Maybe maybe your commute's like an hour, hour and a half max, probably. Some people might be more. Um, but if you got you got a fully charged app or even like half charged, 
you're good, right? It's uh, it's if you were gonna go, say you're gonna go for a drive that's like you know four, five, six, uh, seven hours or whatever. If you're going on a, on a vacation somewhere or a long drive, um, chances are then you're gonna have to charge it at some point in time, right? Um, so that's the only negative. You might run into some noise issues while you're charging it. When you're not charging it, you're not gonna have any issues whatsoever, right? Um, and trust me, I went and tested uh, back before. I already, I already was gonna buy a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, this is what I. This was kind of like my dream SUV. Even if I had five million dollars, this is the vehicle I was gonna buy because um, this is the vehicle I always wanted, right? And I always wanted to do my like dream system in this vehicle. So I bought this vehicle back in 2020. But before I did that, um, I actually took out my DAP and I went around, uh, you can see like the Audi dealerships right in front of me here. BMW is like right next to them. Um, I went to the Porsche dealership. Uh, I went to basically Acura. I went to like Honda and what I did is I wish I would have recorded this, but I couldn't because I had a sales guy with me the whole entire time, right? And I was just like, hey, can I try this out? I just want to see what it sounds like on your stereo. Uh, so I tried and tested all, uh, all probably over a hundred different cars in like, in like a week's time going, going to dealership to dealership and just asking them if I could uh, use it. So, you know what I mean? Like I used it on like all the high-end BMWs, the SUVs, the cars, uh, same thing at all, all, the, all the different dealerships, right? Um, this made all of them sound way better, way louder, way cleaner. Um, the bass was better. The bass was snappier, punchier. Everything sounded better, right? So that's this is exactly what I would recommend anybody buying, especially if you don't plan on, uh, um, you know, upgrading uh, to like a DSP in, in the future or something else. This is the best thing you can buy for your vehicle. Um, out of out of anything out there, there's there's no point because if you if you go into amps or you go into speakers or if you go into a DSP, um, you're gonna have to unless you can do it yourself, right? You're gonna have to pay somebody to install all those things for you. So you're gonna be looking at you know quite a quite a lot of money is what it's gonna come down. Where this, you just buy this, makes a difference. Boom, just like that. You plug it into the auxiliary in your vehicle and you're good to go. You know what I mean? You can download. The The only drawback to this particular one that I have, like the Fio M11 player, is Apple Music won't work on it. So if you're if you're a huge Apple guy, you'd have to get the new player. If the new player works, this one doesn't. So the M11 Plus that came out June of 2021 this year, it will play it, but this won't. So just remember, this will play everything else, your Spotify, uh, Tidal, uh, Amazon uh, HD. This will play everything else. It just won't play Apple Music. So if you're not an Apple Music guy and you're an Android guy or whatever, then don't worry about it. No, your your phone isn't going to sound as good as this. It's the, the phones have cheap DACs in them. They're terrible. They're, they're horrible for sound quality um, if you're going into the auxiliary end, right? If you're uni using another method with your phone, but then, then we're going off topic, right? Then we're getting into... You need a DSP, right? Um, so this is the best thing. And I'll, I'll add to that, the best thing you can buy in your for your car stereo, even if you already have a car stereo, say you have like, you know, Focal speakers and you got, uh, um, yeah, Moscone amps like me and you got like, uh, uh, you name it, like JL subwoofers, blah, blah, blah. You got everything and you don't ever plan on getting a DSP get this because it'll still make your system sound better right especially the new version you get the new version it's got over 120 signal to noise ratio the cross talks amazing on it you can go look at the stats just go to the file website um why am i not wrecking at recommending astle and kern because they're a so-called higher end brand um because astle and kern in order to get get up there get up there you're you're gonna have to be paying quite a bit more to match the sound quality on these things right um so the astro and kern entry level player uh right now is like an sr25 which replaced the sr15 um excellent player 
I'd say pretty close to the M11. I still prefer the M11 better for everything because it's got more features. It also has the digital output uh, if you ever plan on uh, connecting to a DSP in the future, right? Um, but Astle and Kern, their high, high end are simply amazing. Like if you get into the, the SP1000 and the 2000, those daps are, are incredible. Um, but then you're spending three, four, five grand, right? So we're talking kind of, even though 600 bucks is expensive for a lot of people out there. Um, but if you're just looking for something you can store all your music on, you're going to have the best DAC out there that's going to blow away. It's going to blow away all, everything on the market right now. The only thing, the only, the only um, unit that would be coming close to, the, to this would be Sony's GS9, which I don't know, it came out, what, five years ago or something? Um, but that's just a single den deck. And guess what? You'll have to pay somebody to install it. <laughs> this you don't. You don't have to worry about that. You're good, right? You can see on the Apple CarPlay, right? When I, when I, I did a video before when I'm talking about, well, here's the buttons, right? It's got your, your uh, cover bar right here, right? And it's the same thing on here. The buttons are almost like, they're a bit bigger, yeah, on here. But, I mean, these are easy to use. And a lot of times, people are just going to have playlists anyways, for the most part. And, you know, while you're driving, you just hit the, like, on here, you can just swipe it anyways. So, I find it easier just to go like this, right? This is the easiest way to change songs. You just, this is easier than this, honestly. This is more complicated because you got to go into your library. you got to click this. A lot of the time, like, if you're, if you're just skipping ahead. Yeah, it's, well, it's not on play right now. But if you're skipping ahead... Yeah, and then there's another issue. I, I'm, that's going to make a totally different issue on Apple CarPlay. And ever since they upgraded to uh, their Apple lossless, like high-res music, there's been a lot of issues. I get error messages, like, all the time on my phone, right? So that's another issue, but that's, like, totally separate from this video. Um, yeah, this is. it doesn't get any easier than this, right? If you're just skipping something, like... How hard is that? You know what I mean? While you're driving. And honestly, like safety's, you know, most audio guys aren't going to say this, but you want to be as safe as possible when you're driving, obviously, right? Um, and then to me, even to me and easy, if the people like, well, what's well, not difficult with your volume up here on your, on, on your director for your helix? It's like, no, because I'm not even looking at it, right? I know when it gets to a certain level when it doesn't, but like I said, now I'm getting off off track but the the conversation we're having now what's the one piece of equipment that you can buy to make your stereo and even your factory stereo sound way better than it does this is it you're looking at it right here adapt and it doesn't have to be the file it can be another brand there's lots of other different brands out there but you, you want to get one of their mid-tier newer preferably newer Daps, because they're going to have, uh, especially when it comes to the file, they're going to have a better uh, Android. The new one has uh, Android 10, I believe. This one's like 7. Um, yeah, this is what to get. You don't need to add speakers. You don't need to do anything. Just buy this. It'll make your system sound a lot better.